This is Epping, New Hampshire. Epping, New Hampshire always surprises me. For instance, did you know a guy born here was the very first person to circumnavigate the entire world on a motorcycle? Happened in 1912. That person was a guy called Carl Stearns Clancy. Carl Clancy. He was born here in the summer of 1890. His dad was the Congregational Minister, Reverend William Clancy. Reverend Clancy and his wife Alice lived here in Epping for 10 years. Then they went to Brimfield, Massachusetts, where they served the Congregational Church down there. Carl was a motorcycle fan from early on, and at the age of 22, he and his best friend decided that they were going to go into the entire world all the way around on bikes. The best friend was a guy named Walter Story. The two of them convinced the Henderson Motorcycle Company to finance their trip. Carl Clancy picked up a bike in Philadelphia, rode all the way to New York City where he was met by Walter Story. Two of them then took an ocean liner to Ireland where they got a contract from a magazine called The Irish Cyclist. That magazine paid him to traverse Northern Ireland and to write about it. They also were contracted by Motorcycle Review out of New York City itself to write about their adventure. However, on the very first day, Walter ran his bike into a tram and totaled it and it was because he wasn't used to driving on the left-hand side of the road. So Carl was alone from there on. Went across Europe, Africa, Asia, then a sea voyage to San Francisco, from there up to Oregon, and then across the country back to New York City, 18,000 land miles. In all, it took him 10 months. And that was on a four-cylinder V twin 934cc engine, which produced seven horsepower and had only one forward gear. So there you have it. In 2013, two other motorcyclists duplicated Carl Clancy's feet and they made a documentary film about it, which is also coincidental because Carl Stern's Clancy himself ended up in Hollywood in the film industry. He was a director and a producer. He directed and produced a number of Will Rogers movies from this town. How about that? Neat story.